Hey, Diane, it's really awesome having you on our show for Bits of War, basically on ET's journey on figuring out what it's like to be human. So I've been speaking to a lot of cool people and I'm really super excited to be speaking to you. So before we start off, who is Diane? Could you introduce yourself and tell people what you do? Hi, Etienne. Thanks for having me. This is uh, such a great opportunity. I, my name is Diane. You've already mentioned that. I am a qualified beauty therapist and I am a mom to twin boys. Awesome. Must have been. It's already, I feel like moms with two twins that means like in the house it's always like a house on fire the boys are always like you know running about and draining all your energy how do you cope with all that of course it's it's chaos most of the time but um you just get used to it i guess yeah so yeah so i'm just curious when did you come to glasgow for the first time i came to glasgow in 2003 2003 tell me what was that like in 2003 because obviously I go here 2009 that's like six years after like were there any black people living in Glasgow it's it's a very long time I know there were few of us I mean um few faces you could you could really count how many black people you you met when you went out uh, but no definitely not as many as we do have now yeah, so do you feel all this gap between now and when you came, there's been a huge change or there's a lot of people have actually moved here, would you think, would you say? Oh, yes, yes, that's for sure. There's a lot more um, diversity um, in Glasgow, not only Black people, but Black people from various different countries. Yeah. Uh, it's, yes, it is. And then obviously there's other different culture. I mean, this is why they say that, people make Glasgow I think when you come to Glasgow and get a whole vibe of how many characters are here it's just like some melting point of the UK I would say so what was that like living here like in 2000 you know that time like you here was that like weird just walking down the street and you, you didn't see somebody that looked like you how did you sort of like sort of cope and fit in um I didn't quite feel like that not having many people that look like me um the the people here welcomed me and were very friendly and I didn't I didn't really feel that but um it was strange obviously being away from home and having to learn new skills and new language I didn't speak much of um English it was um yeah it was different oh so if you didn't speak English well so what language do you speak like what's your top official language I did speak a little bit of English, yeah. but um, I, my first language is French. Oh, typical français. You have to teach me like <laughs> two words and then I'll repeat them or two sentences. Okay. And obviously, if I make a mistake, don't really, you can laugh. It's okay. You know, it's, it's a learning process. Oh, so. no, 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 no. I don't laugh at people, you know, L learning a new language is not the easiest, especially French. Okay. So. Give me two words, two lines or something to say in French, and you're going to tell me what it means after I pronounce it the right way. I think it would be better if you tell me what you want to learn. I like eating a lot. How could you say that in French? J'aime beaucoup manger. J'aime beaucoup manger. How, the, how was that? Yeah, well done. Yay. <laughs> okay, so second one. Um, I um, I really love fish and chips. It's all food related, wait. I need to just <laughs> choose something else. Or oh, you have to choose something for me that I can say, a word or... Um, um, should I go for a complicated word or just a basic? A complicated word, because this is gonna be like a challenge. Uh, what can I say? Let me think. Ordinateur. Ordinateur. There you go, you did it. So it's like when you speak in French, there's that happening is it just me there's no. that thing happening there no, it's no. hilarious it's just the way you i think you <laughs> emphasize the uh. Uh, i love it though anyway that's fun for that's enough class for french today anyway i'll be learning more french from diane you know she's the pro now anyways I'm dan to help. 
the other question I had for you, why fashion? Why do you choose fashion? Is that like a sort of escape for you or is something you just really loved growing up or it's part of your culture and you kind of felt like you, you're going to keep doing it? I, I feel for me, fashion is a way of expressing yourself. The, the way you dress is, can, can reflect on, on how you feel, on, on so many things. I feel like clothes can, um, what am I trying to say here? I feel like clothes can somehow define so many things about someone. Yeah. Like for example, when you're walking in the street and you, when you look at someone for the first time, I guess you look at their appearance, you look at what they're wearing and um, yeah, I, I love fashion and the fact that you can you can create different looks every day and you can change your personality with your clothes you know it's it's just something beautiful uh, i love the way clothes look and feel and how it makes people feel definitely because i know myself when i get a brand new jacket or shoes i probably wear that thing yeah. for a whole week and i feel happy mm -hmm. and positive and and I think, you know, it just is the way you feel because you feel like you've treated yourself to something and mm -hmm. it's good to look nice and feel good. And uh, if you ever need some fashion advice, you know, you, you know who to, to go to, uh, Diane. So she we put her handle there so you can follow her, check her stuff out. But anyway, that sounds all good. But anyway, since this, uh, uh, this episode is all about ET getting to know what it's like to be human. So we just want you to give me a challenge that i can do and feel myself doing it mm -hmm. and obviously i don't know anything about this challenge but it's the challenge that is going to help me my character persona et mm -hmm. fit in with the humans so it can be any challenge i've done a few other challenges to begin with i've did a bit of tree hugging which i really loved mm -hmm. ate a deep fried mars bro <laughs> which was hilarious i don't advise anyone to do it but yeah from you what should I do as a challenge? Oh, yes. I just thought of something super cool. <laughs> and I watched this movie a couple of weeks ago. Oh, what is it called? The, the movie with a um, with lady and two young kids who had to um, wear blindfolds oh. to be able to move. Mm -hmm. The one with Sandra Bullock. Yes. Yeah. And I, I, I just think that was it's super hard to cover your eyes and and having to do things yeah so i'm gonna challenge you to... i don't like where this is going though <laughs> i'll just be honest you know <laughs> i am going to challenge you to cover your eyes and do whatever that you are doing for half an hour so you pick a day and for half an hour, you have to move around with your eyes covered. For half an hour. For half an hour. This, this, can this just be in the house? Um, well, yes, because we don't want the, any accidents outside. Okay. It can be in the house. Uh, should I say your office? Mm. Oh. Yes. Okay. Yeah, but obviously we're going to have to go for things that are not quite dangerous you know we have to think about safety yeah. but yeah for half an hour let's try and do that do you want people to see me for half an hour with my blindfolded or can we speed it up like a time lapse i like, think we can speed it up okay i don't know maybe less than half an hour 10 minutes okay yeah. sounds good that's a challenge i'm gonna take it on people <laughs> where face covering and just do what I do. I can be on my computer working, drinking no, tea. No, you can't work on your computer. Oh, obviously, okay, okay. Of course, obviously, I won't know what I'm typing. That's a good mm -hmm. idea. Uh, I can close the windows, clean up, and, you know, make a cup of tea, go to the bathroom. So, yeah, I'll do what I want to do, but obviously, I wasn't going to go to the bathroom. That's not going to be part of it. But anyway, thanks a lot for the challenge. Watch the challenge at the end of this video. Diane, thank you so much for speaking with us. I'm very super excited to take on my challenge. You're welcome, Etienne. Thanks for having me. See you later. Bye. You take care. Bye. So I've been challenged to put a blindfold for 10 minutes and go on with my usual schedule. So that means 
I won't have my glasses on, but I'll still try and spend the next 10 minutes doing what I do. Cleaning up, doing some work and making tea and see how I do. All right, let's take the time. So it's uh, it's 28, so 38 minutes past. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put on the alarm. That's gonna remind us, so 10 minutes from now. I like to walk in a very tidy house, so I'm gonna try and uh, fold it up nicely. Uh. I'm self isolating, so that's why I'm in the house. So let's use the mess. Try and uh, keep the whole place tidy. It's more. Uh, it's some superhero stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah, we have six cents right there. Let's fix up those cards. i 
glasses, we're loading the glasses right now. Not much to do when you're self-isolating, so I try and do as much as I can, you know, just to tidy up the place. You know, you need a good photographic memory. Uh-oh, I think some stuff is falling down. You need a good photographic memory to be able to, you know, remember where you're moving. If you make it on the couch, you know, just Tendons covered my eyes. Diane, how was she thinking? It's pretty easy. It's like walking the park. Easiest thing than drinking water. It's gonna last for 10 days at least. Uh, time I own, I don't know, it's gonna be 10 minutes. I'm going to sweep up the place, so I'm gonna find the blue. I might just sweep. Uh, I don't know if they fall into blue, but hey. So humans do all these activities, you know, when they're home, you know, keeping their houses clean. So that was one of my challenges and uh, I don't do need blindfolded. It's, uh, it's a bit tricky, but I'm doing what I can, right? Superhero style. The saying that I don't think it's saying actually like like people are blind they develop our senses other senses so that they can hear touch things more much better I can tell you even this few minutes blind for it I'm starting to appreciate my eyes you know <laughs> I'm, I'm like pitch black <laughs> I have no idea where I am but 
Um, I think I've survived not falling down because I have a really good photographic memory of the house. So, yeah. Good on you, Dan. And uh, I think that's why I've stopped because I'm not sure if I lasted 10 minutes. And then subconsciously, I feel like it's been 10 minutes, even more. So, yeah, that's it. That's the challenge, you know. And uh, yeah, keep your houses clean. That was my third challenge, and I can't wait for more challenges to come coming from you people that I'm going to be speaking to. I'm very excited. Let's go. I'll put this off. Ah. 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 Clean the house really nice actually.